Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mr. Sonic Man U, and before we get the video started, I'm gonna address the elephant in my room. If you've been here for a while, you probably noticed that the background behind me has changed. I'm on a desk now, I have a proper chair that I could lay back on and feel comfortable in. I finally have a boom arm for my mic for better audio quality, and so it could free up clutter on my desk. It's really nice, you, pro you can't see it probably because I intentionally put it out of frame. You could probably only see the pop filter for the mic though. But yeah, I'm starting the new year. This is the first video I'm recording of 2018. And I'm starting the new year with a new setup and a new mentality to do video. So let's get this video started, shall we? So it's January 31st, which means that the first month of 2018 is coming to a close. And this first month to me of every single year, which is January, January, sets the tone or sets up the rest of the year. You could either agree with that or disagree with that, but that's what I think at least. And we had a lot of crazy things that happened this year, or the things that I found to be crazy for this year or for this month is four so far. And I feel like this isn't the first crazy things that are gonna happen for the rest of the year. I feel like we're gonna get even crazier things, but these are the things that happened so far in the year of 2018. <laughs> So last year, in January of 2017, we got the first big meme of that year. It was Salt Bay. It was really cool. It was very, what do you call it? I would say, to me, it was refreshing. It was really cool to see that guy pour salt onto his steak like this. Like, it's never been seen before. It's never been done before. And 2018 topped that meme with Uganda Knuckles. It's very, very stupid. It's original, but it's very, very stupid, and it got really, really big really fast and if you don't know what i'm talking about here's a clip to fill you guys in on that meme you don't know the way yes, I do. do you know the way i know the way you have to have ebola to know the way i have ebola he doesn't know the way to know the way to know the you way. need to you have, have to ebola this is my new this is very good habitat this is my new this is my new method this is my new home you cannot escape the game a lot You don't know the way of the red Ebola or the blue Ebola. Do you want me to drink your blood? We are protected by the devil's power. In Zimbabwe, we do not have water to be drink child blood. Surrender your child blood to me. I will teach you the way. The way of the devil. It's all around me. What the heck? Stop! Stop! No! So what do you think? Pretty stupid, huh? Like it had three different origins. It was one of them, the actual model or the drawing of Knuckles was created by one guy, I believe he was an animator, and the 3D model was made for a game called VR Chat. You probably know a lot about that if you've been watching PewDiePie for the past month. He made a lot of videos playing VR Chat. The origin of that meme also, the line, do you know the way, came from a Ugandan action film where they say, that particular line. So, I said this is the first big meme, the first stupid meme of 2018 because I feel like this isn't gonna be the last big stupid meme that's gonna happen this year. I feel like 2018 is gonna bring us a lot of stupid memes and a lot of memes that I'll find funny and I'll get tired of and the same thing with everyone else. But the second big thing that happened this year was the first challenge or the first internet trend of 2018. In the past, we had challenges like the ice bucket challenge. We had challenges like the water bottle flip challenge, the cinnamon challenge, all pretty stupid challenge. But 2018 hit a new level of stupid with the Tide Pod challenge. Like, if you don't know what it is, and I don't know why you wouldn't know what it is, these kids put Tide Pods in their mouth and tried eating it. So I'm gonna interrupt real quick. I realized that I was wrong about the Tide Pod challenge. It turns out that it was just a joke. People would put the Tide Pod in their mouth, but not actually eat it. But then you had some stupid people that decided to eat the Tide Pod anyway. And because of this, it generated mainstream media attention. So YouTube, not wanting the bad attention, cracked down on this and got rid of all the clips of these people eating these Tide Pods. So I'm sorry for getting the Tide Pod challenge wrong. Forgive me and Here's the video. So yeah, the Tide Pod Challenge. Stupid, stupid challenge. It's the first big challenge, the first stupid challenge of the year. I say that because 
I believe it's not gonna be the last one. Like we're, we just started 2018 and we're still gonna get pretty stupid challenges later on down the line. And I'm excited, kinda nervous about what's gonna happen next and what other challenges are gonna happen. It's probably gonna be so stupid and stuff my little brother is probably gonna copy like he did with the water bottle challenge. So number three of the next big crazy thing that happened uh, this year was the big YouTube controversy that happened this year. If you remember last year, the big YouTube controversy was, or scandal, was the PewDiePie scandal. When Wall Street Journal accused PewDiePie of putting anti-Semitic images into his videos, what they did was they painted this image of Felix or PewDiePie, sold it to the public, and said, hey, this is how he is. People like him need to get put down. He needs to get shut down, which wasn't true. They just took a lot of bits and pieces from his videos, put them together, and tried to make him look bad. But there is no justifying this year's controversy. It was very, very bad, very, very inconsiderate, and it could have been avoided, but it wasn't. And you guys probably know what I'm talking about. It was the Logan Paul controversy of this year. If you don't know, and I don't know why you wouldn't know, he went to the Aokigahara Forest here in Japan, or the Suicide Forest. He went in, you know, for a great vlog. You know, I understand that there's been a ton of videos out there of people filming themselves in the Aokigahara forest and but they never really show anything but Logan Paul thought it would be a great idea to show something that he found in the forest he found a guy that just committed suicide in the forest and he decided it would be a good idea if he would film this poor guy that just killed himself he did close-ups he didn't act considerate he made very very inappropriate jokes in the moment like you know I I get it, seeing a dead body is traumatizing, I have yet to experience that, but come on, respect the guy, respect the family, don't film the guy, and I understand a lot of people bashed him already, I'm not trying to bash him, I, he did issue an apology, which, you know, I have respect for doing that, he realized he was wrong, he also told his fans not to defend him, which I respect that, but the whole thing could have been avoided, and his next video was another, was a PA video about spreading awareness for suicide and, you know, prevention and all that. And, you know, I get he's trying to redeem himself. I get he's trying to set everything right. But the whole thing could have been avoided if he would have just thought about what he was doing. It would have stopped. Yeah, he's trying to make it up to his fans, to the public, to the YouTube platform. But, you know, sometimes when you make a huge mistake in life, yeah, you could try to get back from that. But the damage has already been done. And the damage has already been done for what he did. And he was already taken off of the Google Preferred ad tier. And his YouTube Red TV show, as of from last I heard, has been put on hold. Yeah, I hope he learns his lesson from this. I hope it changes the whole way he does things on YouTube. And I just hope that he becomes a better person from this. Let's move on to number four. Uh, it's pretty big to YouTubers. I am going to say it's pretty big to everyone else, but it's pretty big to YouTubers. Um, YouTube shut down, or they didn't shut down, they demonetized small channels. And before with the adpocalypse, they were taking out ads from different videos, and for small channels, they said he, they also had a certain tier. They had to have 10,000 lifetime views on their channel before they could start monetizing their content. But, what YouTube decided to do was take that door they already had. Before, you had to climb up a bunch of stairs to get to that door and go through it so you can monetize your videos. But what YouTube did was move that door further away so now you have to climb up stairs, go through a forest, and climb a mountain to get through that door. So now, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours, correct me if I'm wrong, 4,000 hours of watch time so you can start monetizing your videos. And honestly, I was discouraged about this whole thing that happened. I was discouraged. I'm like, why YouTube do you have to do this? You know, I get it. This happened after the whole Logan Paul thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it happened after the whole Logan Paul thing. Another big YouTuber ruining it for the smaller guys. I wouldn't say PewDiePie ruined it. It was just, it happened after. So I'm not going to blame anyone. It's just YouTube trying to control things, which is what they usually do. And my just gets to me, I'm not doing this for money anyway. I'm doing it because I like it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sick. But yeah, 
I'm gonna do it because I like it. I'm not gonna do it because of money. And the way things are going right now, I doubt this is gonna be a way for me to make a living. So that's why I'm thinking about streaming on Twitch pretty soon. So if you wanna follow me on Twitch so you know when I go live on Twitch, make sure you click on the link I leave down in the description to my Twitch channel. Follow it, turn on notifications so you can get notified of when I go live. Keep an eye out, keep an eye on the Twitter, keep an eye on Facebook, and just keep an eye out for when I go live. So yeah, that was number four. I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, that's about it. I was gonna talk about the government shutdown, but no one really cares about the government. No one, no one really cares about politics, but that was pretty huge. So yeah, that concludes this episode of Let's Talk. I know I rambled a lot. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I made a video. I'm still trying to get back in the groove. So sorry if I just rambled on and on and on. I didn't mean to. I'll get better at this. It's been a month. It's been five weeks since I recorded a video last. So yeah, I'm still kind of weird when it comes to making videos. I'm going to be recording more often and there will be more videos more often. I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to experience 2018 with you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about these four big things that happened or make that five big things that happened this month of 2018. And let me know how excited you are to find out what 2018 has to bring us in the future. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me. I usually do gaming videos, but I sometimes do videos like this, a let's talk video just to generate discussion and talk about the things that happen in the future or just talk about things that I like. And make sure you hit that bell icon too to get notified when I upload new videos. And hit that like button as well if you enjoyed this video. But anyway, this is Sonic Menu signing off. I will see you guys in the next one.